Here are the basic protocols for gun handling in film and television, specifically revolvers. Three essential rules of prop gun handling. Always point a gun in a safe direction. Keep your finger off the trigger until ready to fire. And always treat the guns as if they are loaded. The only crew people who are allowed to handle any prop gun on a film or TV show are the prop master, assistant prop master, prop assistant, armorer, or armorer's assistant. In some cases, if the prop gun is not being fired on camera, then a props person is in charge of it. If the weapon is being fired using blanks or cartridges that contain gunpowder to simulate actual gunfire, then the armorer will be in charge. This video will refer to all these crew members as weapons handlers. The only other people allowed to handle prop guns are the ones doing it on camera, the actors or stunt people. They should only do this under the supervision of the weapons handler. Absolutely no one else, including the director, assistant director, or any other crew member are allowed to handle the weapons at any time. Generally, any prop gun used in a film or TV show would never be loaded with cartridges of any kind unless it's being fired on camera, loaded on camera, or if it's a revolver where you'd see the slugs in the front of the cylinder. There are only two types of cartridges that are allowed on any film or TV set, dummy rounds and blank rounds. Dummy rounds are safe, inert versions of cartridges that contain no gunpowder or active primer. They are used for scenes showing guns being loaded and in the cylinders of revolvers. Blank rounds are crimped versions of cartridges that contain gunpowder and a primer but do not contain a bullet or projectile of any kind. They create a loud bang, produce smoke and muzzle flash, and can provide a realistic recoil. They are used only for scenes where the prop gun is being fired on camera, which would only happen under the professional direction of a licensed armorer. Blanks can be dangerous because of the gunpowder involved, but part of the armorer's job is to supervise their use safely. Live ammunition or live cartridges that contain a bullet or projectile are never allowed on set. They are strictly forbidden, which has always been true in the modern film industry. When a revolver is used on camera, modern or western, and the cylinders and cartridges are visible, only professionally made industry standard dummies should be used and purchased from recognized suppliers. There are two types of dummy rounds used, and they are easily identifiable as rattlers and drilled cases. Rattle dummies have a small BB or plastic pellet inside the cartridge so they can easily be heard or felt when shaken by a crew person. Drilled case dummies have one or more holes drilled through the brass cases, so they cannot contain powder. Neither dummy has a functioning primer, and many dummies have dented primers, proving that they are safe. Prop guns must always be cleared or shown to be safe when being used on set and on camera. The assistant director, whose job it is to run the set, is the person who must sign off on the prop gun's safety after visually seeing the weapons handler perform the safety protocol. This is the proper clearing protocol for using a revolver loaded with dummies on camera. The weapons handler goes to the AD and presents the unloaded revolver with the cylinder open. A small flashlight is used to shine through the barrel, showing that it's unobstructed. A small rod can also be passed through the barrel to show that it's clear. The empty cylinder is observed. The proper amount of dummies for said gun, generally five or six, is presented to the AD. The shake rattle test is performed on each dummy one by one by the AD, taking the dummy and shaking it next to the ear to hear and feel the BBs inside the dummy. One by one, they are handed back to the weapons handler. Once the AD is satisfied, any further inspection is optional and can be repeated with the actor or anyone else working on the scene. Only after everyone is confident that the weapon is empty and the dummies are proper and safe should the gun be loaded with said dummies, still in full view of the assistant director and actor. Then it should be announced out loud over channel one that there is a cold gun on set. This procedure should be followed for every gun containing dummies in the scene. Any person on the crew can request to observe the loading of the prop guns. If there is blank fire in the scene, the crew will be issued the proper safety equipment such as earplugs, face shields, goggles, etc. The armorer will stand by until the camera rolls and the first AD directs them to load the blanks into the prop gun, making it ready to hand off to the actor. It is announced that a hot gun is on set, followed by how many blanks will be fired and what load they will be. Hot gun, three shots, quarter loads. The prop gun is then handed to the actor and action is called. When cut is called, the weapons handler takes back possession of the prop gun from the actor. If blanks have been used, they unload it and announce cold gun. If it contains dummy rounds, it can remain loaded if it stays physically possessed by the weapons handler. When not on camera, the prop gun always remains in the custody and under the control of the weapons handler. It never leaves their possession or sight. It should never be left unattended on a cart or a table. The prop gun should be unloaded and safely secured if there is a substantial shooting break, whether moving the camera or breaking for lunch. Prop guns must always be secured and inaccessible by other people on set when not in use. 
When brought back for use in a scene, any prop gun that has not remained physically on the weapons handler must be re-cleared following all the same safety protocols. The weapons handler should also always be present when the director and the cast rehearse a scene containing guns and gunfire. These rehearsals should be conducted with rubber or safe, cleared, unloaded prop guns. The weapons handler stands by to ensure that the actions in the scene can be performed safely with the type of guns and gunfire that the scene requires. If all these protocols and standard safety measures are followed, everyone will remain completely safe and any mistake or unsafe situation will be caught and corrected before anyone gets hurt.